Welcome back to the King Films College Football Playoff Predictions for Week 6. And before we get started, I want to encourage everyone to subscribe to the channel. We are on the chase for 1,000 subscribers. And let's get right into it with our top 25 rankings. Here is the bottom 9, starting out with Notre Dame. Obviously, they lost to Cincinnati. They only have the one loss, but... With Wisconsin in free fall, they haven't really done anything this whole season as all of their wins have been against just subpar teams. So we don't really know how good Notre Dame is, and I'll get to that later when we talk about Cincinnati. Moving on to number 24, we've got San Diego State, a new team in the rankings. They're currently undefeated have a win against Utah and Arizona from the Pac-12 side. And they move into the rankings at the expense of one of the other Mountain West teams in Fresno State who just lost to Hawaii. So San Diego State looks to be one of the best teams in that conference. Number 23, we've got Pitt who rolled again. They have just the one loss to Western Michigan. Number 22, Arizona State got nabbed the win over UCLA. Their loss on the season comes to BYU. We'll talk about them later. Number 21, Florida. And wow. This was probably the shocking game of the week where you had Kentucky beating Florida. Of course, it was at Kentucky, so it was a tough place to play, apparently. And Florida is still ranked here, even at the two losses, because, you know, as we saw on Saturday with Ole Miss, it's going to be hard for teams to play with Alabama like Florida did. Florida had a chance to win that game, and that's something that no other team can really say, and I don't know if a team will be able to say that this whole season, so we'll see what happens, but as long as Florida has that three-point loss to Alabama on their resume, they're going to stay ranked in my eyes. Number 20, we've got Baylor. They suffered the close loss at Oklahoma State. Number 19, we've got Wake Forest, who jumps into the rankings after picking up the win against Louisville and staying undefeated in their ACC slate. So they'll be going at it with NC State now in a wide-open ACC. We've got Western Michigan picking up another win. Of course, their only loss comes to regular Michigan, and they have the quality win against Pittsburgh on their resume. Number 17, NC State nabbed the close one against Louisiana Tech, so that didn't do much for their ranking, but they'll be contending with Wake Forest down the stretch. Moving on to the middle eight, we've got Michigan State at number 16, and they were punished this week, not necessarily because of their close-ish win against a bad Western Kentucky team, but more because all of the teams they've played went on to lose. You know, you've got Northwestern, Nebraska, who they went to overtime with. You know, I think Michigan State was a little overrated last week, seeing the results pile in. And I think Michigan State could be on upset alert. They're up about this high on the AP poll as well. So we'll see what happens in the coming weeks. Number 15, we've got Kentucky fresh off that upset over Florida. This team is undefeated. I'm not completely sold on them, but this is kind of in a gray area territory where I'm not really sold on any of the teams, as you'll hear with BYU as well. But they are undefeated nonetheless. They had a close win over South Carolina that I didn't necessarily love, but... We'll see what happens. Kentucky seems to be in good form in the SEC. Number 14, we've got BYU, who picked up another great win against Utah State on Friday. They have the wins over Arizona State and Utah already under their belt, and they've got a challenging schedule down the stretch. Keep an eye out for BYU. Number 13, Oklahoma will play in the Red River Showdown this weekend, so that should be an enticing matchup. Obviously, they were able to beat Kansas State, which led them to rise in the rankings this week. Oklahoma State stays just that one step ahead of them, as Oklahoma State also has the win over K-State, but Oklahoma State also got the win over Baylor, which was huge to them. Obviously, I had Oklahoma State lower than Baylor last week on the rankings, so they could only go up to 12 here. And then 11, I'm going to have to say Ole Miss, even though that was a horrible loss to Bama. You can't tell me that many other teams would have fared better Especially an Ole Miss team that seems to be good on offense as their strength. Bama just shut them down for the majority of that game until it just wasn't winnable anymore. And we'll have that blockbuster SEC matchup of the two teams that lost against the two best. Ole Miss against Arkansas this week. This one's at Ole Miss and Ole Miss is favored. But we'll have to see what happens there. 
Number 10, Ohio State got the great win against Rutgers, and this was just a different Ohio State team than we've seen. Michigan and all the other Big Ten teams that are up at the top, as we'll see in the next graphic, have to be scared because Ohio State just went on the road and crushed a Rutgers team that just gave Michigan a game. So definitely keep the eye out. This one was significant for Ohio State. Of course, we've got to keep Oregon ahead of them. The AP poll, for some reason, had Ohio State better than Oregon, even though Oregon has the head-to-head matchup. Also note the five string of teams starting with an O here. But all jokes aside, Oregon suffered a horrible loss against Stanford. And obviously that Ohio State game is just carrying their resume. They've looked sketchy against Arizona. They look sketchy against Stony Brook, and they look sketchy against Fresno State. So that Ohio State game is really carrying them right now to this ninth rank, and the Pac-12 is in serious trouble with regards to the college football playoff. Moving up to the top eight, we've got number eight, Texas, who got another win in close fashion against TCU, but it's a rivalry game. I'll probably dismiss a close win against Oklahoma as well, as that's a rivalry game, but that one should be a great one. I've obviously got Texas as they're the higher ranked team. In similar fashion, I've got Arkansas against Ole Miss, even though that one is on the road as opposed to the neutral site. But I think Arkansas is the better team here. They do have that win over Texas. Granted, it was a different quarterback. But you can't really take the games against Georgia and Alabama, respectively, as too much of a hit to their resumes because those Georgia and Alabama teams are just on a different level, as we'll discuss later on. Number six, we've got Iowa. They rise dramatically after they crushed a ranked Maryland team, according to my rankings last week. I really like that victory, and it erased a lot of the question marks I had about Iowa, and I'm excited for this matchup against Penn State this week. Number five, we've got Cincinnati, who beat a Notre Dame team that we don't really know how good they are, but, you know, I had Cincinnati at number nine last week, and... As I'll explain, you know, this three through seven, it could be really any teams. All we know is one Alabama, two Georgia. Other than that, it's all up in the air. So if Cincy can keep winning, obviously they've had the hardest part of their schedule over with, at least from the preseason point of view. Now they move into American Conference play. And if they can take care of business, they probably have their best shot at getting into the playoff given the tumult of the ACC and Pac-12 as of late. At number four, we've got Penn State, who cleaned up Indiana at home, and they'll play Iowa again. That is a great matchup. I'm not even sure who's going to win that one. I say it's just a toss-up. We've got Penn State in the number four slot right now for their more impressive resume thus far. Obviously, they've got the win against Auburn. Number three, we've got Michigan, who has a good resume so far. They've got the win over Western Michigan. They went into Wisconsin and took care of business. So I don't really have any question marks there as of yet, but we'll see. This Big Ten East is shaping up to be a great division with Penn State, Michigan, and Ohio State all in the ranks right now. And then we've got just a valley. Let me emphasize the difference between two and three right now is astronomical. Alabama and Georgia are just playing NFL football right now. Obviously, both of those teams got their respective wins over Arkansas and Ole Miss. And they weren't close at all. I'm looking forward to seeing these teams in the future. They've got some tests. But remember, I took Alabama's under for the over-under at 11.5. And and I'm seriously doubting that any team will be able to beat them in this regular season. Of course, Alabama does not play Georgia in the regular season. That is a probable SEC championship game. But we'll have to see what happens. Moving on to the New Year's Six Bowl predictions. We've still got Georgia and Alabama in there, and then Michigan is going to slide into the Cotton Bowl just like last week. But this week, instead of Oregon in the Orange Bowl, we're going to have Cincinnati, obviously. If Georgia and Alabama remain undefeated in the SEC Championship, even if one loses, you just can't deny them the bid so far. But I think that you can deny a bid to Penn State or Michigan, depending on what happens down the stretch or any other contender from the Big Ten like Iowa, they probably won't be able to get two. So we're going to have Cincinnati in there for now, but it's going to be tough for them because, you know, they don't have many more resume building games, especially if Notre Dame continues to trend down. But 
We'll have to see what happens for now. I've got Cincinnati in the playoff. And as a result, as you can see in the Peach Bowl, we've got just a horrible matchup between Western Michigan and NC State. Could be a good game, but none of those teams are really a firepower like we had a couple of weeks ago when we thought Clemson was good. But moving on to the Fiesta Bowl, we've got Arkansas against Iowa, and then Texas against Ohio State in the Sugar Bowl. That should be a great matchup. And then the Rose Bowl would be Penn State against Oregon, and that one would be a great one as well. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and comment your predictions below.